Hi everyone, it's Starry Ari here to give you guys your weekly um, horoscope or terrascope for your love life. Okay, so this week is gonna be really intense. All right, there's three planets going into retrograde. OMG. So don't worry, you guys, because you've been here before. Last year in 2019, we had the same thing happen, all right? So remember what happened around this time last year. Possibly you'll be making a similar cycle happen again, but don't worry because we are you know, in the pandemic. So there's no real physical threat right now. <laughs> so um, I, don't, I don't mean it as like, you know, there's a real threat in your life or anything like that, but it's more like you really can't go wrong because the communication lines are limited to the internet or to your text messaging or cell phone, okay? so. The first planet going into retrograde is tomorrow, and that is Saturn. Saturn, as you know, is all about expanding your business mindset as well as setting goals. For this retrograde in particular, Saturn, Saturn is going to ask you to really, really thoroughly think about your goals and make sure that you are really, really investing the time that you need to tie up loose ends, okay? Uh, I would not recommend um, kind of going head first into something right now when it comes to money, when it comes to you making money or your future goals, okay? So it's really important to be mindful right now with the Saturn retrograde, all right? So the next planet going into retrograde is actually Venus and that's on the 13th. So, <laughs> You guys need to be very mindful of relationships, okay? Um, and particularly romantic relationships, there's gonna be a lot, a lot of stimulation from the outside world, meaning that there's gonna be a lot of people coming up or showing up, coming from the past or getting out of the woodworks, trying to get your attention, things like that. So be very careful, okay? Be very mindful. Make sure that you don't give anyone that doesn't deserve your attention any of it, okay? So this is really important in you guys, all right? So if you want that ex to leave you the hell alone, let them know, all right? Um, so the next planet will be Jupiter. Okay, so Jupiter is all about expansion. It's all about, uh, you know, knowledge, philosophy, and, and luck, okay? So this time we are being asked with Jupiter retrograde is to uh, just have patience, um, spend more time in what it is that you want to create or manifest. Uh, also have more self-awareness or, or, or just go within and ask your intuition, you know, what it is that you need to work at or work, work on at this time. What needs your attention? Okay. Because it feels like it's definitely, um, gonna help to do a lot of like inner dialogue or inner review of what really is that you're that you're being driven to do or what you're really passionate about it's kind of like again it's similar to saturn where you have to tie up loose ends where you have to be real with yourself where you definitely need to make the right choice to move forward okay for this one okay so that's what's happening for this week so let's go ahead and see what you get for your love tarot scope starting now all right fire signs here is your weekly love reading. So let's go ahead and begin. So here we go. This is the energy of the week. And you got the wheel of fortune, you guys. Y'all be doubting yourselves and your partners sometime. But guess what? It is meant to be. The universe has 
conspired with your higher self and the divine to bring you this love connection. If you're already with someone, guess what? That's the perfect match for you. If you are not, if you are wishing on a wishing star for Prince Charming or Princess Charming, whatever you want to call them, they are coming, all right? This person is already there. They just need a little bit of a push in your direction by the universe, all right? So here we go, Leo. Oh, Leo. You got the queen of summer. So this represents you, okay? Now this is a highly intuitive person. This is someone that's very loving and nurturing. And yes, it could be a man too, uh, because this person is ready to commit. This person wants that whole white picket fence, the family of 2.5 kids, you know, everything. They want the full enchilada, all right? And so the Wheel of Fortune is telling you, yes, you will receive everything that you've desired for a very long time, Leo. Uh, if you are in a relationship, they're just saying, oh yeah, <laughs> get ready for baby making because it's happening, all right? <laughs> so this is definitely a confirmation from the universe that who you are with is the right person, all right, Leo? So no more doubting, okay? Trying to commit. <laughs> so next one is Aries. Aries, it's time for you to balance, okay? So <laughs> this means that everybody's input, like everyone's opinion, meaning whoever you're in the relationship with, should be heard, okay? So if you're having a little bit of hiccups in your relationship right now, Aries, um, you have to make sure that you are able to merge you know, unite with your partner, just like how my hands are like, you know, uniting, um, you know, merge and become one mind, two separate bodies, but one mind. Okay. So if there is a little bit of a discussion, a little bit of an argument, just listen to their side and then figure out a compromise Aries. Yes, I said it compromise. Oh yeah, I know that hurts you. You don't like it. But guess what? You have to compromise. If this is somebody and the universe is saying they're fucking worth it, you should definitely consider compromising, okay? Definitely having both sides of the stories and coming together like this, like I, like I showed you before, and merging as one. And yes, look at my hands, they're like turning red. Yes, this is how, how tight you should merge Aries, okay? Uh, so <laughs> that is what that is all about. And again, if you're single Aries, then listen to other people's opinions regarding the person that you are thinking about. You know, like if you have a doubt about this person, if there's something that you really wish you would know, you know, like if there's, if there's something they're not expressing to you, then talk about it. You know, just ask questions because you will figure out that this person tends to be a little bit, um, kind of like, uh, guarded because they've been hurt before Aries and so it does drive you a little bit insane when they're not honest or when they hide things from you and they don't want to you know have an argument with you because it, it thrills you to argue because then you get sexually aroused and all that stuff Aries but anyway this person you have to see where they're coming from okay so this person is definitely worth it Aries so that's what the wheel of fortune is all about is telling you this is a match made in heaven and so if you really really want to work it out if you really want to move forward with this person and having your happily ever after then it's definitely a right choice for you, okay? So next one is Sagittarius. 
Oh, saggies, there you go, the three of autumn. So this is the equivalent of the three of pentacles. So money, 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 <laughs> and learning, okay? So a beautiful combination for us because we love money for one. We love money because we can travel and then we can buy cool things. <laughs> and also we can get more knowledge, like buying books and stuff. <laughs> so anyway, um, you, need to follow your heart. Okay, Sagittarius, whatever drives you, like whatever drives that fire in your loins, okay? This person ignites that passion within your loins, so just listen to it. I know your rational mind is like, oh no, they're, they're just gonna, you know, like, I'm just gonna have sex with them and just, it's not, it's gonna be weird the next day. No, Saggy, it's not, okay? It's definitely someone that you are attracted to completely, like mind, body, and soul, okay? The universe has spoken. They have brought this person into your life for a reason, all right? So go ahead and follow that passion. Follow that that burning fire inside your heart, not in your vagina. Something's hot or burning down there. You need to go to the doctor. But anyway, uh, <laughs> this is definitely going to help you with uh, any hidden talents that you have. It, this person is definitely going to motivate you to succeed in life. Like anything that you want to do in your life, like any life goals, things like that, this person is motivating you towards it. Okay. So they're, that's why they're your perfect match. All right. So that's all I have for you, fire signs. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys are interested in a personal reading or a chart reading or even an energy healing, go ahead and book through my website, www.stariari333.com. All right, you guys. Love you guys so much. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye-bye.